welcome back to Profile Pod TV. I am your host, Double A. We are back. Ladies and gentlemen, just got back from a vacation. It's good to be back. Uh, I was gone uh, that two weeks. And uh, wow, it, uh, let me just say that uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was good to be back. With the, it was good to be with the family. We were on a little mini tour of California. If you have not been to Mammoth, California, go check it out. Uh, oh, beautiful, beautiful. I was up in Morro, then we went up to Sacramento, went through Yosemite. Gosh, beautiful. So just wanted to uh, say that I'm happy to be back. I missed the podcast. And uh, tonight, uh, like always, we have another splendid, spectacular guest. So, but before we get to our guest, let me just say real quick, don't forget to follow on Instagram, uh, subscribe to Profile Pod TV on YouTube, click on that little purple logo there at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, support the podcast. Uh, don't forget, we are also on Social Nostra, ladies and gentlemen, the podcast network that gives you a variety of podcasts. So, uh, go check them out. Give them a follow. Give us a follow. All that good stuff. So um, let's get into our guest, man. I, I am really excited about this young lady that is here uh, on the screen. Uh, she reached out and, uh, you know, it was she, um, you know, the timing of initially the timing was not that good for myself because I was on, like I said, I was I was actually taken off for, for the, um, the vacation, um, came back and uh, something opened up. Uh, today and she is like all about it man she, I'm so impressed with her professionalism her determination she's all business bottom line all business uh, this young lady is a singer songwriter rapper entrepreneur the queen of trap soul uh, she's out of Harlem New York now in North Carolina doing her thing you know just causing uh, you know tidal waves in the entertainment industry. If you have not heard her music, you will want to listen to her music after this uh, episode. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on Profile Pod TV, please welcome the beautiful Bally Bando. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm doing Thanks I'm for doing having great. me. No, thank you, Belly, for taking the time on such a short notice. I, like I said, man, I'm so like impressed with you and your your willingness to get it done, man. That's bottom line. That's the bottom line all the time. Let's get it done. Uh, is there, if there's an opportunity to promote market and build a connection with another media or, you know, whatever have you within the industry, I'm on it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like calling my assistant. I'm calling my dancers. I'm calling my security. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was so impressive because you were like, hey, man, and, you know, it's it's you know, you're on the East Coast, obviously, and, uh, you know, I, I figured, man, it's a little too late. Hopefully, it's not too late, but I'm just going to put it out there, and you were, you didn't hesitate, so thank you so much for taking the time and being here and, you know, and coming on the platform. Absolutely. Absolutely. No doubt, no doubt. How, what's going on in North Carolina? It's in North, North Cackalack, as they say, right? Yeah, North Cackalack. I'm a whole New Yorker. Like, I, I'm not even going to hold you. Yeah, I'm no, no. out here just because the property is cheap, okay? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm barely here. Like, I'm barely here. I'm always booked somewhere. And that's why I say, you know, it's a pleasure to be here. I just finished being out of town for a long time. I worked a lot of 12-hour days, you know, and I reached out to get to interact with you. But, you know, we had two different schedules. So it's just mm -hmm. not, it doesn't always happen this way. So that's why I was like, okay, I have the free time. Let's get it done. Because in a day or two, I'll be off book somewhere else out of town. So let's just, you know, get this thing going. Yeah, no, no, exactly. I said, exactly. man, I was like, I hope she's not booked up already. But uh, hey, that's why it doesn't hurt to ask, right? You just put it out there and, and see what happens. You take a shot, right? Yeah. And, take a uh, shot. Yeah. You know, and speaking of North Carolina, I'm a big, big uh, Jodeci fan, huge Jodeci fan, man. So I know they're from yeah. uh, North, Car North Carolina. And, and who uh, else? J. Cole. He's out of here, too. The mm -hmm. baby. Okay. The ba <laughs> I oh, love my God. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. You know, I'm, I'm make a dope, crazy record together. And I think because he, outside of all the... Um, 
like the this 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 sexual content uh-huh. he can rap and i love to just rap i love to talk shit that's it <laughs> and you know so, oh. so i would love to just like talk shit around and just talk shit we and we can literally we could uh we could. I see that he's so versatile. He could uh, do an EDM record, just like I have EDM, pop, reggaeton, mm-hmm. trap, R and B. The the man is bananas. He's on everybody's stuff. Uh, he's he's definitely crossover, and I would love to work with him. Absolutely, very versatile as you are, Belly. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, you do it all. You write, you write all your songs, right? All uh, right, everything myself. Rap. I pride myself on it. Pride Absolutely. myself on it. Oh, that's great. That's great. I mean, you sing, you act, you're a businesswoman. I mean, she's, I, you know, when do you have time to sleep? You know, geez. when I'm on a plane, there you go. I kid you not, I cannot wait till I get on my next flight. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you got to. Oh, okay. You got to uh, manage your time, right? I mean, hey, you got to I mean, fit I, sleep in there somewhere. Yeah, of course I get sleep because I'm I'll be cranky if I'm not, you know, you cannot give this much to everyone else and not replenish yourself. I do yoga, um, I burn my sage and you know, I got my crystals and balancing my chakras, I got my Quran, I'm praying, uh-huh. I'm staying away from pork and bad men. <laughs> like I'm like, okay. Right, you right. No. And honestly, yeah. too, when you do what you love, it's not even like I'm telling you, if I don't do this, I don't breathe, you know, and that's why I pride myself on my lyrics, because my voice, you know, it's it's raspy. Everybody, I, people have called me like the female DMX, which I love because I love DMX, rest in peace. Yes. Um, or are they uh, what was well, somebody ugly money? A niche, he calls me. Uh, what was it? He said I remind me like an ace hood or something because the way uh-huh. I get on the stage and my voice. But, you know, no matter what. You know, and I love all the all the stuff because you know publicity is publicity, good, bad. Long yeah. as they like you, long as they find something relatable to attach it to, and they're talking, that's great. You know, but it comes from having cancer. Like let's all be real. So, mm. and I like to uh, just mm. be real with myself on that. So I'm very humble. I pride myself on my lyrical content. Some people like my voice because it's they like the rugged sound. But I know that it was the rugged sound that almost stopped me from coming back. It was what I was saying that needed to come out, which was more a weighing for me on my conscience, if mm. that makes sense. No, absolutely, absolutely. I, no, because yeah, you're you're very personal with your lyrics, right? With with your content very. and your songs, and you talk about you know real life situations, stuff you've been through. Uh, most of it's the stuff you've been through. Correct me if I'm wrong. Everything. 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 Right? Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is your song Jailbreak? Now they're gonna go listen. Like, oh shit. Yeah. yeah everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And but you know that's that's the thing though, Belle. You talked about you know the relate relatable piece. Uh, you know that, that's people can relate to that because we we're all human beings. We want we're all going through crap adversity. Right. Uh, nobody has a perfect life. There's no such a thing. So I think that's why yeah, I think you know people relate to you so well because you're you're raw, you're real, and there's no BS in what you, in your message. You know, it's 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 real. It's stuff you've been going through. Thank you. Right. And yeah. No. Of course. That's that's why I mentioned like things like cancer or mm-hmm. you know having had to dance at 18 in college or being homeless at 15 years old, you know, unbeknownst to me, just knocking on the door and parent just decided to make some different changes. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't uh, talk about it because I want somebody to like cry or nothing. I just want people to understand that to get to where I'm going, inshallah, Mm -hmm. there's a lot of suffering, bro. Get the fuck over it. (laughs) Get your ass up and get to your apartment mm, by all means necessary, or you're gonna be mad and miserable. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I love it, Belly. I love it. You know, um, yeah, you're gonna be miserable any damn way. You're gonna be miserable if them bills get paid or not. 
So pay them <laughs> and then save a little bit, miss a couple of out dinners and get your ass to the studio. Gosh. You know, yeah. smoke a little mid instead of a little exotic. I don't know, but make it fly. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Make do what you got to do. Everybody, you know, got their things. You just got to fight through that shit and make it work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no doubt, Billy. Absolutely. No, you're 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 truly an inspiration. Uh, I know your story. Um, and, and so you, you're originally from Harlem, New York. Uh, which yeah. I've, 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 I've been to New York City, didn't get to Harlem. Uh, unfortunately, next time I'm there, I'll get there. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rucker Park and all that good stuff. And um, talk talk a little bit about you know, growing up in Harlem and how you know growing up there has really prepared you for your life in general, you know, what, how, talk about that. You know, it's kind of crazy because when I look back over everything, like just walking down the street and running into Brandy or, you know, having Fat Joe just drive by one day in front of my grandmother's house or like, like Yandy walking down the street, none of that shit meant nothing to me because I grew up homeless. I grew up poor. You know, my parents were incarcerated at one point and prior to they were in the street and it was just a lot of uh, activity going on around me, a lot of real things going on, you know, and I, I would wake up early in the morning and, you know, get dressed to walk up and down the streets, you know, with my girls and stand outside be rapping, singing, dancing, being the staircase. I mean, we would be getting light. No music. And now I see Toa and Tina. You know, she was just like, it's, it's just all coming to. And um, that's why I said I don't cry about it. You see, I'm smiling. Mm -hmm. Those things, when those things were happening, I was homeless. I was poor. I was 15, 16, 17 mm -hmm. years old. And when I think of like Jarrell Jordan, when he went viral dancing and they put him in uh, these videos now that he's dancing and all the videos getting light. Uh, and I, you know, I said, Toa Pantina, all of us, Hocus Focus, everybody. It's just crazy, you know, that I feel like I'm right where I need to be. Everything is happening right in this time. It's okay, you know, and that's what I tell the little girl inside of me. It was all okay. That's what I always said, you know, it was, it was, it was, it's okay. Uh, yeah, I feel like I had an amazing life. I don't, uh, people be, some people, they, 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 they go a little overboard with the shit, like, Good God, the shit was bad. I'm like, yeah, but you know, I had summer nights as a 16 and 17 year old out on the pier. You know, no one had told me shit. And I still made sure I, I went to school every day. I, I would sleep in the park sometimes out on 8th Avenue. And uh, I remember there's like a stage. I literally would sleep on the stage in the park. Mm. And that's too, because when it would rain, you need to go on the stage. So <laughs> that way, you know, you don't get wet. <laughs> and uh, like the crackheads and stuff, they would be hitting their pipes, but they knew whose daughter I was. So they wasn't playing with about me, you know, so they would give me like, they couldn't do much, but they would like give me some toilet tissue some newspapers. And they would like ask me to look out for them, make sure that, you know, nobody's coming, you know, cause uh -huh. they're doing, they're doing something illegal. And I would go to sleep and I wake up real early, you know, make sure my shopping cart is somewhere. And I'm like, now I'm saying this shit, I'm like, but it didn't, it, it was nothing to me, bro. It was nothing. And I would I, I would make sure I would get to like 135th Street, uh, about, a, about, a, about a library. I would bathe in that bathroom or mm -hmm. go a little further down to the McDonald's or do the McDonald's up on 40th and uh, 7. It was about a uh, fish market. They, they, I think they took, they took that McDonald's away or whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah. <laughs> This is this is real this is real shit. Like, uh, wow. and then I would go to school early enough to change in the lost and found in the basement of professional performing arts school. Yeah. I would argue with those kids during the day because I think that's my Lacosta shirt. No, bitch, it's not. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know, I had to deal with that. Yeah. You Gosh. know, and then I had to fight for my solos on stage because you know you got to smell good, you got to look good. And it was all these things they were grooming me for, but. Bro, I fought through that shit. Like, like, come on now. I fought through that shit. Yeah. And, and, and we're here. And for me, it was beautiful. I sang at Carnegie Hall, the Apollo. I've sang uh, backup for Chrisette Michelle, Ciara. Um, I've wrote with Jim Papoulis. 
I've, did I say Kathleen Battle? I've done the U.S. Open, Aretha Franklin. I've, I've sat with Alicia Keys on several times to have a one-on-one -on -one with her. Um, and, I've, and, I've, and I've been uh, very, very, you know, I was a depressed teen. I had a different type of voice. My voice was rather deep, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, I said to her one day, I said, you know, what, what would you do? Like, you got this, this voice like this. Like, I don't like this. I sing contralto with the boys sometimes. Like, and I didn't know how to embody it and embrace it. And she said, have you ever heard of Gladys Knight? You couldn't tell me oh, shit man. after that. The bitch was singing low <laughs> notes with the boys, killing their ass. I yeah. was like, I embraced myself and I got all my solos after that, you know? And those things are beautiful. And I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud. No, I, 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 Belly, I, I mean, for a teenager going through something like that, you know, um, it, it, many, I, I don't know. Many would argue that if they would, or not, that, you know, would expect someone to just say, you know what, screw this, you know, or quit, or just succumb to their to their conditions, you know, to their, their situation. Um, but you didn't. You didn't. Uh, what what was it? Uh, what was the driving force for you that kept you going? Was it dreaming about you know performing or or you know going after your dreams? Was it Talk about you know what what it was that just kept you going. Well, I would have to tell you that you know that's that's not the case. You said you didn't, and if I if I agree with you, that'd be a lie. That's mm -hmm. the hiatus. The hiatus is when you wake up from the dream. You know when you stop dreaming. The mm -hmm. hiatus is when you can't hear your own voice anymore. When the bills are higher than your self esteem. You know, that's the hiatus. And the hiatus is what did it to me. It was the rock bottom that hurt me. You know, I have a song that'll be coming out on my album called Divorce. And uh, Divorce, <laughs> as, as risque as the hook may sound, you know, in the second verse, I say, you know, uh, hitting, the, uh, hitting the dollar bill like the man of stiff, you know, and wishing that if 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 you loved me, you your love could heal me from my addiction. But it was cancer that almost took me the fuck up out of here. And when they pulled that tube out my neck, that was about all the healing I needed. You know what I'm saying? And just right. like you, I had to then find my angle because I could not speak barely, let alone sing. So I came back in with just these sexy girl pictures. I would just keep posting. I just keep on. I said, God, you know, I really want to speak now. Come on. You know, a nigga want to say so. <laughs> I ain't got no sense. If I can cuss, I have no sense whatsoever. I'm a big <laughs> jokester. So uh, that's why then I went into comedy. I started doing these funny comedy skits. Okay. And the next thing you know, I would do a little funny like, oh my God. And people said, well, I think the bitch can still sing. <laughs> Uh -huh. So then I booked the studio session and we got Type of Gangsta. Type of Gangsta is very raspy. Listen to it. Very, very raspy. And you'll notice as the singles go and go, we got us hit moving. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it yeah. It clearing up. But speaking wise, you know, you can always hear it. And it used to be something that, in, that I was embarrassed about. But thank God for Belly Gang. Thank God for the journey. Thank God for me, you know, for them pulling that tube out and me gasping for air and waking the fuck up because, uh, yeah. you know, it yeah. was the idea that I would never sing again, that I would never get it out again. That 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 pained me more than anything else. I can't mm. explain it, but um, that pained me more than anything else. Wow. And how long did you battle with with cancer? <laughs> About two years. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I got it at 22 and then at 24, um, I went to the Cancer Treatment Center of America in Atlanta. Uh, I had a baby. Thank God that, um, you know, a lot of people thought it was scary, but they induced my pregnancy, took my baby from me and did what they needed to do. And then I still wanted to breastfeed. I still wanted to be this powerhouse. So I would not take my pain medication so that I could breastfeed and I would be in this aching pain, like blood oozing out of this hole. 
And then I would put them down and take my pain meds and, you know, the baby will and at the two. And I, and, and even then in that, even then in that demise, I would still, I, that's why we have the clips of that. Because even in that demise, I would take my phone out and I would, I say, Leah, hold my phone or ask my husband at the time, hold my phone. And we made videos. Cause I thought I was going to die big bro. Mm. I thought mm. I was going to die. I was making footage for my kids to keep. Mm. Well, look at God. That footage is now in my documentary on YouTube. You can find, it. you know, it's, it's, yeah. and it's, it's my motivation every day. And it's now motivation for what? 26.9 thousand followers. Mm. I'm, I'm, in, I'm humble. I'm humble. You know, it almost scares me. Sometimes it brings me to almost tears. You know, I'm a big baby. So don't make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Belly, you know, you have every reason you know, to quit. You had every reason to quit. I mean, you know, or, you know, or every, every reason to, to, to give an excuse. So um, what, what would you say to someone, Belly, right now? Because a lot of people are going through stuff, right? And, you know, men, you always hear about mental health um, or whatever the case may be, any type of, there's many types of adversity, right? Unfortunately, uh, what would you say to someone to, to, to going through a fight, some type of, you know, tough battle in their life, what would you tell that person, you know, to continue? To, how would you help them persevere? What can they do? I would tell them that the truth is nobody's coming to save you. Nobody's coming. People do only tend to help those that help themselves, you know? And a lot of that stuff that they say, you know, you got to go into a church and you got to gather. No, you got to gather with yourself. Get in the mirror, look at yourself, get to praying, get to crying, get to shouting, fall down, but get your ass back up. You got work to do. You know, there's nothing, even when we die, you know, what do you think is on the other side? It's just a mirror of what you haven't accomplished. What, what is that? How, how sad would you, how sad would you be really? to be 90, excuse me, 60 years old, even 80 years old, even 50, can't walk, can't move, disabled, never tried, never gave it nothing. I mm. felt what that felt like. I felt what it felt like to not be able to wipe my own behind or walk or hug my children or to think that I wouldn't open my eyes after I closed them in this bed. And I thought of all the crap I was wasting my time on, mm. just wasted my time on. You know, and that made me get up. It made me get up. It yeah. made me get up. Yeah. And there were so many other people that were getting up because I got up. It makes me continue to stand. So, you know, I, I can't, there's nothing back there for me. I always tell people there's nothing back there for me. What's back there? Cancer, stripping, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, being poor, being homeless, sleeping on a park bench, you know, and yeah. for you, what would it be? Or well, whoever that person is, what it is, your pain, you know, uh, some Gosh. some country where where there's no food, no water, there's not good electricity, the gangs own the neighborhoods. Let it go. Let it go. Mm. Let it go. Yeah. You're worth too much. Each one of us are worth too much to the to the whole picture to the bigger picture and when you tap in when you tap into that you feel so much better when you tap into the god in you you feel so much better that's why i love hustle of the year it's one of the only songs or one of very few songs in the hip-hop industry where you are going to hear god and you're still going to hear that stuff from the streets yeah you know yeah that 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 poor pain, that mental health pain, that should have make you want to kill yourself pain, and you and I still and I still and I I say in the song, you know, ain't it ain't you don't need nobody. I say it in the ad libs, you don't need nobody, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm speaking to Bloods, Crips, Batolocos, everybody, everybody, mm -hmm. you know. I say it, all the sets in the hood be fucking with me. I said it. And the damn hook, you know, uh, <laughs> and it's, it's very inspirational. You know, it's uplifting. Check it out. Apple Music, all, all platforms, Spotify, iTunes, you mm. know, iHeartRadio, Deezer, TikTok, Tidal. 
you name it, you know, go <laughs> check it out. But <laughs> no, but yeah, wow, that's uh, gosh, what a, uh, what an inspiration, you know, you are, uh, you, you know, the yeah, bottom line is you got to move forward, you got to keep going forward, got to keep going forward, you know. It's, and, back there. it's painful back then. Yeah. It's too painful back then. Gosh. Might as well climb a little bit, may cut your nails a little bit, but it's better than all that shit back there. There's nothing, yeah. I mean, it's it, you, there's nothing you can do about it. It's it's, it's over. It's yeah. in the past, and there's no there's no sense in in trying to relive it or, or or whatever. You know, look back. You know, yeah. It's I love how you frame that. It's beautiful. Yeah. And, uh, and I've been, you know, I, I had a conversation with, uh, recently um, with my with a previous guest, uh, Young Beeves, comedy, uh, my man Victor. Big shout out. And he he was saying the, the same thing. You know, it. it starts you know it starts with yourself <clears throat> you know you start it starts with your you're not competing against anybody you're competing against yourself you know that's it you know and the you of yesterday <laughs> yeah how are you gonna do better than you did yesterday belly okay <laughs> yeah. you were late to work yesterday what you gotta do today <laughs> and it's the little things you know that's um the eight ooh the eight laws of Lord, I, I study so much stuff. Good God. I think it's the eight laws of professionalism or the eight laws of being successful. One of those things. Uh -huh. But one of the first things is like being punctual. And I think it's it's true. You know, if you wake up and your ass knew you were supposed to be somewhere and you don't get there, if you don't feel like a shitty motherfucker, I don't, then you're just a shitty motherfucker. You should feel a little like, oh, you know, it right. should be a little. And then not only that, it's it's nine times out of ten going to offset everything else in your day. And then by the end of the day, you're a shitty ass, you know, person mm -hmm. to everybody else. But the truth is you didn't follow the eight laws. You should have been obedient to whatever you committed to. Yes. Because no when you give your word, you are putting your energy out into the universe. So you now it ain't about what you promised the books. It ain't about what you promised, mama. It ain't about what you promised. No, none of them people. It's mm -hmm. what you put out in the universe, buddy. Yeah. You didn't yeah. deliver. This yeah. shit is real. This is energy. You can't, it's one of the only things you can't destroy. Mm -hmm. We can't yes. reinvent the wheel, you know? And I learned that from being a homeless teen, not having parents to guide me. I had to learn by like, you know, bumping somebody on the train and getting my teeth knocked out, like shit like that. I learned the hard way, but I mm -hmm. learned like, oh, this energy shit is real. These motherfuckers looking at me funny. I need to move. I need to walk through the middle of this train, get to the other side before they steal my shoes. I learned and then I applied it to the real world, you know, mm -hmm. and I applied it to all the different industries in which I worked in and vice versa. And, you know, you, you grow into a good person, but you just got to You got to be obedient to the process. OK, you got to. Yeah, it's going to be getting beat up all through life, you know, by the ways of life. Yes. It's going to be yeah. tussling and turning. You got you to submit. Yeah, you reap what you sow, right? You know. Yeah, what you put out is what you get. I'll be telling these folks you're gonna be there. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I hear you. I hear you, Belly. No, you're. Gosh, you're. You're, you're really. Uh, you're, you're, I needed to hear this, Belly. I needed to hear this. You know, oh. seriously, because you know, my, you know, I've, I've, I've struggled with my, with my mind. You know, mental, my mindset, and and stuff like that. I, that's one thing uh, I've really taken a. a a conscious effort, you know, in the last year, year and a half to really uh, address that, you know, and I think I've, I'm doing a lot better, you know, with, uh, with that, you know, doing just affirmations, meditation, uh, prayer, you know, stuff like that. Literally, like you said, the little things, right? The little and, things. Uh, and uh, gosh, and I'm really seeing a lot of benefit through that and it's really helped, but but yeah, no, like you said, the law of attraction is a real thing. The energy you put out into the world, into the universe, good or bad, positive or negative, it's it's going to come back to you. It's real. And I love that you're touching on mental health. I mean, I don't know how much time we have, but I want to tell you that I am extremely grateful for this interview tonight because I too, you know, I too struggle with it. This is a lot of pressure um, and I am a human being, you know, and I've gone through so much during this. I don't even drive anymore. Like people don't even know uh, I've suffered. I suffered like some terrible car crashes, stuff, I had concussions. 
I had been working with concussions. I, I opened up for Boosie and I posted, you know, if you look at, um, if you look at my Instagram and you uh -huh. go down, you'll see a couple of flies where uh, it was Webby and a couple other people, but I opened up for those guys and out in Charlotte, but I got on a Gucci fit and I got a boot on my foot, you know? But uh -huh. of course, when I did the show, I took the boot off my foot and no, that was another gig. I'm, look, I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. <laughs> I do a lot. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, I had about two, I had two bad accidents, you know, going to and from shows and suffered a concussion that turned into post-traumatic brain disorder. I never got an opportunity to speak about it. So this is the first platform that I'm getting to share it on. And it's because of, it's because of your spirit. It's because of your spirit. And, um, and I'm grateful for your spirit because somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to know that, you know, you may, you may lose your car or you may, it's, and, and that's not the situation. The situation for me is I don't, I'm scared to put me or anybody else at risk until I'm fully recovered with yeah. my mental health, with that trauma to my yeah. brain because it is a bruise. So I'm doing everything else that I can do. I'm doing all my bookings. I'm letting my, I'm allowing my assistants and my street team and my management to take over in ways that I never really wanted them to allow, but the way that they probably should have already because the brand is growing. I can't yeah. do all of these things. Right. And think I'm, I, I, I mean, I drove my whole tour from North Carolina to Texas and, and did a show in every state, mm. drove there and back, you know, and went and went straight to work. Belly, what are you doing? Like, so, <laughs> and this is real. And that's because yeah. of the passion that's because of never wanting to go back, you know? And I thank God that people saw that and, you know, jumped in. But for those that don't have that, you know, or that are struggling with things like depression and post-traumatic stress, because it is real, you can still live. Absolutely. I'm living proof. You're living proof, I was gonna say, yeah. Gosh, Billy. I'm living proof and you know, the the doctors were amazed that I was expelled from a moving vehicle. So, and this is over a couple of months now, you know, but it's still, it's still, it's, it this still has effects, you know? And um, I see my doctor, I call my doctor today. You know, these are things, that's why I love people like Charlemagne. They've changed the culture of um, podcasting and uh, have allowed podcasting to bring all these different voices so that we can yeah. share uh, these conversations. Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked, love him to death. Um, Armin Wiggins, these, these, these are conversations that need to be had for artists and other people in the entertainment industry because it's real. And you know, if not done on platforms with spirits like yours, it will be misconstrued. Mm. So that's why I said I'm very grateful for your platform. And um, I encourage all my other fellow artists in the industry in North Carolina or indifferent to tap into this brother. And if you need me to tap in, tap in with me, hit me up. Even if you don't know me, cause I, we're answering all these dang DMs all the time. If I'm not answering, my assistant is, but uh, tap in with this brother, definitely. Well, Belly, thank you so much for saying that. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, likewise, you know, and, um, you know, it, you're, but yeah, you know, your story is just uh, so inspirational. It uh, it goes without saying, you know, um, you're, like you said, you're living, you're, you're living proof, you know, it's, and it's, it's just the power of the human spirit, you know, the power of uh, the, the, the power of uh, the, 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 the fact, the determinant, the power of having determination, you know, we're, we're our own biggest obstacle right if, if we absolutely we can yeah we can literally i mean just um overcome anything we want to i mean we really can we have that power you know it's not easy it's right not, it's not easy but you but, can't abuse it we you can't, can't abuse it mm -hmm. you can't abuse it you know every like first lady from coalition djs told me because i did get signed at 18 but i also got pregnant and got you know, distracted by the streets. I let the streets trick me out of my blessing. You know, mm -hmm. she told me lightning doesn't always strike twice. She said lightning doesn't strike twice, Belly. Mm -hmm. So whatever you're doing is working. Keep going. Yeah. And I love her for that because that was confirmation for me. And it's 
like I, it's a jewel that now, you know, we're passing, we're going to pass on through. But um, it's yeah. very, very true. So don't abuse that power, anybody. Uh, at any day, this thing could be gone. Rest in peace to the real Luciano, uh, 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 amazing rapper out here from North Carolina, gave me a platform mm -hmm. last year. And I didn't even have the following that I have now. It was about a year, almost maybe two years ago, but gave me a platform with King Music Corp. He just passed away. He had a show this week. It was his birthday this week. He's one of the biggest artists down here in North Carolina, you know, for upcoming underground indie artists. Mm -hmm. He's He's got to deal with Sony. He's gone. Oh. Like a freaking fucking candle. Gone. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to him and Playboy Poppy and the whole King Music Corp. Y'all better get it together out here. <laughs> Y'all better get it together. This shit is no joke. No, I, I, yeah. And even to myself, we got to get it together. If Corona didn't even teach us that, we've got to get it together. That shit That's... shook my mental health like no other, okay? And oh. I can I can say that, you know, outside of all the shush, this is the industry, don't say that. You know, my PR and my media training, I don't think anybody's gonna beat me up after this in my camp for saying Corona shook the fuck out of my mental. This, yeah. these last twelve. Months. Yeah, no, I, jeez, man, okay. tell me, bro. I'm right there with you, Billy. Yeah, it was a, uh, yeah. So it's I, okay, y'all. It's all right. Yeah, Call no your problem. doctor. It's all right. Call him up. Run, no run that insurance up. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, Billy, but. You know, I, I did want to get, you know, I want to get into your music a little bit, you know, and, yes. um, you know, you, 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 you've, uh, you have your new single that came out, uh, TPE. <laughs> there, oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, when did you release the single? February 14th, Valentine's oh. Day. Valentine's and Day. we are almost at 20,000 streams. So I'm really, really grateful. Again, I am a NZ not signed to a label, <laughs> best than herself. You know, every, that's that's me. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I'm not Cardi B. I can't sit here and say it's, you know, three million. Better, I'm so happy with what not I'm yet. I'm right. so happy and I'm so grateful to everybody that's helping me from the DJs, coalition, DJs I love. Um, I even got some core people helping me. I reached out to some core guys. And do you know them jokers told me, just pull up to their event they're having in a couple of weeks and just grab the mic and, and get down. You know, God is good. Um, That's, yeah. So the DJs, uh, the playlisters, the content curators. I, look, I wake up five in the morning and send my stuff to playlists. Like I said, we send you, and then I train several other young people under me on what I'm doing so mm -hmm. that they do it up under me. That's how you build your street team, wink, wink. <laughs> not for anybody that's wondering, you know. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. No, no, yeah, I mean, you're doing it. You're doing, you know, like as we were, meant, we were talking earlier about all your singles, um, you know. The, you know TPE, Type Pussy TPE. Energy. <laughs> okay, so I was going to ask, that's what TPE stands for. Type. <laughs> yes, it stands for Type Pussy Energy, y'all, okay? okay? And believe it or not, it's the flip side of WAP. So it's not as... Uh, you know, I'll say it's not the pretty girl side. It's more of, you know, the Tom girl, the tough girl side, you know. But of course, she's still sexy. So, you know, uh -huh. tight pussy energy. You know, it's yeah. the energy. <laughs> it's the energy. That's why I keep trying to tell people. Some people are like, so I'm like, it's energy. Lay on the energy side. Get out of the poom poom. <laughs> <laughs> And just oh, give I, love, the energy. I love that i love that yeah I've, I've never heard that i love that though you know thank you T thank you tpe yeah i'm getting an energy i'm getting an education here on, on tonight's episode so, like i always do yeah. you know all my guests teach me stuff that takes something from my all my guests you know so no but yeah no but the, but you know so um you got jailbreak you got you know all these all your how many albums have you put out belly um, I have not released the album yet. Yeah. Oh, you, you guys okay. are getting ready for my album right now. Oh, the first, the uh, first one. Yeah, you're getting ready for my album right now through my singles. And I'm actually, I'm really proud. I, I keep telling you, I'm really proud of myself because 
Like TPE is produced by Jungle Boy Beats out in Atlanta. He's uh he's just went gold. He's worked with he's working uh with a single right now out with Col Coy Lorraine, Lil Kim, Lil Dirk, uh, DDG. Uh, I think he even got one with Dream Door. The list goes on. Young and May, who I freaking love. Good God, I got it. If I don't get stuff with Young and May, oh my God. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to go crazy. Because everyone says I'm like the Young and May in a dress. That's why they call me like Millennial Mary J instead. Right. Because what did they have back then, you know? Before, you know? Right, So, right. I'm telling you, yeah. But, uh, TPE, that's even like the hook, tight pussy energy, cute as fuck, but hella street. It's a, I got, I'm bringing that that different vibe. But we're getting ready for the soundtrack to my broken heart. So just uh, just uh, wait on that. So that's what that's what it takes when you are an indie artist investing in yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling management and different things from people like Street Noise Entertainment and. Uh, Record execs like Jay Prague and First Lady of the Coalition and Keisha Jackson. I utilize her production and green screen and my dancers. They come from some great dance company. Look, you know, th this is what I this is how I do it. Just like Black China. This is how I do it. She she said it herself. She said, I, I do everything myself. I just hire people in the areas I need them. And you know, when we're together, we're together. And when we're not, we're kind of not. You know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But I still have my team. You know, I do have my team of folks. For sure. For sure. No, good for yeah. you. No, you're, yeah. You got, I mean, look, I'm sure you've come a long way. You've learned a lot, you know, since in your journey. And, uh, but no, you're doing the damn thing, Billy. And, you know, I wanted to ask you, you know, at this point, well, let, let me ask, I'll ask that. Let me ask you this about your, all your music, your songs. Um, what can what can one expect, your fans, a listener, the audience? What can one expect from a Belly Bando song? Well, what's one thing you? I mean, they're gonna, or or what can they expect? Tell us. That trap soul lyrical content. Mm -hmm. Trap soul uh, is my foundation for all of my lyrical content, and um, they they'll know for a fact that girl is gonna go on an Afro beat. And she's going to kill it. She's going to go on an EDM record. She's going to kill it. She's going to go over on the reggaeton. You may, and, and, and they're not going to understand what I'm saying sometimes, but they're going to feel it. And I'm going to throw <laughs> a little a little bit in there. Enough. I might throw a little English in there. I, I got a, a Russian trap beat, a Russian hip hop beat. That's trenches. Good God. You know, um, and then I got this alternative rock song. Oh, my freaking God, wait till you guys hear that shit. So, yeah, but the freaking lyrical content, you know, is culture. It's mm. trap soul. You know, I'm talking about some painful stories from some very poor neighborhoods, from some poor households, from some poor ass relationships, <laughs> going <laughs> in and out of jail. You know, wow. it's that trap soul. It's that stuff that when I was in the staircase and they were just banging on the wall, I was, you know, spitting that stuff, those stories. You get stories. You wow. get stories. Good, good stories. Damn. I feel like, yeah, that, that, your energy is just palpable, you know? There's a, there's a good word for Thank you. you. Uh, no, I, yeah. I mean, you're going to get, I mean, yeah, I, like I was telling you earlier, yeah, you, you see the passion the determination, the love for what you're doing, it just, it just, uh, there's no doubt about it. You know, it's unbelievable. And, um, the, you know, the, the, everything that, you know, the relatability, uh, it's just, gosh, it's, it, it, um, y'all, you're also an actress, right? You were just in LA last week and we were talking about this earlier, but tell, tell us about the, the little, the project you, you were doing there, um, with the acting stuff. I mean, gosh, do a so lot. Much. So yeah, uh, I went away. Like I said, I just started uh, a new partnership as far as management over several different deals with Street Noise Music and um, myself, Big 50 from BT, uh, Loose Cannon, Blue Check Verified, amazing artist and mm -hmm. CEO. Uh, Melody Renee just did a million has a single with Jada Kiss. I mean, these were some dope ass motherfuckers wow. to do some business with. 
you know, Sandman, he's out on a radio station in Detroit. These are some dope individuals. Mm -hmm. So um, I got engulfed with them and their diaspora, and they happened to be doing a movie. You know, I did an interview with them. The director heard me uh, over the air. He called in and he he promised me a contractual interaction with them and their uh, their movie, Street uh -huh. Noise. Uh, okay. Excuse me, Beautiful Noise. That's the name of the movie, Beautiful Noise. Oh. So mm -hmm. I'm like... Okay, you know, never. I didn't know it was going. Good God, it really happened. You know, they flew me out. It was amazing in this big, beautiful house out in you know the hills, and it was eight <laughs> days, and it was fucking work. They did not play with my ass. I was like, oh, <laughs> la, la, action, sound stage, action. I said, what the hell is going on? Damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Twelve hours a day. I met up. Uh, uh, I, I got to film with the owner of Hey Baby in California, uh, right in his factory. He mm -hmm. uh, he makes all the clothes for Playboy and X videos and people like the baby. And it was just awesome. And now, you know, I've built a relationship with him. So he'll be do designing a couple of my new pieces. So oh. check out for that. Mm -hmm. But um, it was amazing. <laughs> and uh, I think it was really really a big confirmation into a lot of the things that I manifest because LA was the first place that I had ever been to on a plane. And um, okay. yeah, that's like, that's something real humbling for me. Uh, I, I didn't even, uh, that was my first real paid out of, out of state booking, you know, um, wow. and how I got it. It was really funny. It was really funny. Uh, so basically last year, I got my first chance to go to LA by way of this booking. Mm -hmm. And I really, really, really wanted to go. I really wanted to pay book and I felt like I deserved it. But you know, just like most artists, I hadn't reached the pinnacle yet or you know, hadn't pushed myself to that limit yet because I didn't have a manager. So this yeah. is what I did. I had a buzz already, you know, and I was getting paid these little small fees in my city here and there, but some things were free and just built off my name. So I called, uh, I found the, the organization, this, this festival out in LA, and I called and I got this from Cash Doll. So don't shoot me, shoot up. <laughs> she set it out on a, on a breakfast club. I watch podcasts all day, hence how I found you. But I, I uh, watched her and I was manifesting one day. And she said, yes, yeah, Charlemagne, I called and I pretended to be a manager. And these motherfuckers believe me. So I said, <laughs> damn it, Belly, we got to get the fuck out of here. Do it. So I called. Look, mental wow. health, right? I, <laughs> I called and I'm like, hello. You know, I, I did like some Russian accent. I was like, my, I'm, I'm Miss Hemingway or whatever. And it uh, worked, bro. I got my flight. I got my rider. Man. I went out there and I headlined Damn. a badass, uh, a badass show. And uh, one of the things that was funny about it was not only was it my first flight, so I cried the whole way there, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay. they wanted me to mandatorily fill the room up. So I didn't know if I was gonna be able to do it. I just really needed to get. I needed to get my monies back, you know, my ROA, which was the percentages off the door. You know, that's that's business shit, yeah, which yeah, yeah. shows that I really am smart and can do business because I <laughs> pretended to do my own business. You know, if I bring this percentage, uh, I said, you know, what's your capacity to fill up your space? OK, well, I'll bring this percentage and I need to get paid that much off the door, yada, 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 so on and so forth, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got it done reached Damn. out to a couple of nearby colleges did you know promised a couple of favors it freaking what i Gosh, had students hustling, coming hustling. in from florida atlanta like i had more people come out of town than people in la and it was wow. just it was it was beautiful it was beautiful you oh know and utilize your platforms like bego and all of these things these platforms are how you build relationships with people out of town so that when you go out of town, you can have people show up for you. Um, watch your algorithms. One of the reasons why I knew I could book a show there was because I had numbers there. I didn't get too crazy out of here. Don't, don't get mm. too magical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But yeah, I had to work with what I had. And that's why I thought it was funny because I never thought I'd go back. But hey, I went back to do a movie and I didn't have to fake it, you know? So yeah, this yeah. is just, God is, God mm. is amazing. It's amazing yeah. what he does when you get up. Get up. Yeah, no doubt, Billy. Wow, that's, uh, you know, by the way, if you ever need an audition, uh, I'm available. So I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> I'm putting it out there. You know, Sterling Davis, uh, we got an actor and he's already know. out there by you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, Belly, you know, at this point in, the, in, in your life, what, what, um, what's really, what's really inspiring you then you know, what, at this point in your life? Uh, what's really inspiring me, I'm telling you, I don't know if it's because I'm humble but every time I come out of the studio with a banger, every time I hit one of you guys up with an email, you respond. Um, the other day, Lou Nell just put some fire signs under my stuff. Um, Karen Gavano, she was like, you go girl from the Mob Wives under my stuff. Um, Big 50, she, she reached out and she called me prior to me e even signing a contract or doing any deals with uh, Street Noise. And I used to watch her interviews and watch her documentary and cry because my mom was incarcerated. Um, you know, I'm a product of two parents that were incarcerated, but especially a woman. Uh, you know, it's just when Hocus Focus, uh, DJ Robbie Rob from Them BX Boys and Rough Riders, when these people wow. wanna see me, when, I, when, when a promoter reached out to me eight o'clock in the morning and said, Belly, do you want to open up for Boosie? I got a spot left. Mm. That shit yeah. makes me keep waking up, bro. Like, thank you. thank you. My book can save my life. I'm humbled and I'm appreciative. And as long as y'all keep liking this shit, I'm going to keep acting a force. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it. Keep okay? doing it, yeah. I'm here. I'm here for y'all. Like, let's just like y'all here for me. This shit is, this shit is not a one-sided street. Um, yeah. I, I thank y'all. It gives me life, you know. Yeah, no, Belly. I, I feel it, man. That's uh that that type of stuff, that's a great feeling. Like you said, someone, hey, I got an open slot here. I need you to fill it. And they want to book you. And uh that's how yeah, man, that's beautiful. <laughs> Right. That's that. Yeah. That type of stuff right there. That, that's good. That's inspirational. That's going to keep you going forward. Shit. <laughs> that's not going to, you know, wow. No, good for you, Belly. Good for you. You deserve every bit of success that comes your way. And that, you know, you know, it's going to be fun to continue to watch your ascent into the stratosphere. So, you know, but uh, um, I wanted to ask you some, some rapid fire questions. I know you're from New York. Okay. So uh, I'm going to ask you, Knicks or Nets? Why would you do this to me? <laughs> you know, out here that's in LA, like you know, the, it's, it's Dodgers or Angels, right? You know, or, or that's Lakers, like the only Clippers. area where I'm like, I don't do sports. Oh, you don't do sports? Okay. All right. No, no, Look, no. Look, that's why I love tight pussy energy. Cute <laughs> as fuck, but hell street. It's the truth. It's not, it's, Cause people take the tomboy girl for granted. They think we, we don't like, we're not still women. I am a whole woman. I have three babies. I love men. I like lipstick. You know, I'm just a yeah. little rough around the edges. I hate sports. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. <laughs> no, uh, Lori, let me ask you this favorite restaurant in uh, New York city. What are your favorite restaurants in New York city? Sylvia's. Sylvia's. I gotta have it. And, and Harlem. <laughs> okay. And gotta what kind of cuisine? In Harlem. But uh, are we what is kind of it only Harlem or can I like, can I play around? Yeah. Okay. Cause there's like, um, what you want. There's, there's like this dope ass. It's probably like one of the dirtiest spots, but I don't care. It's in the Bronx. It's the all you can eat buffet in the Bronx. It's only one. Everybody in the Bronx know about it. It's like you could get the cheapest food there, and but you could get, I mean, you could get it for really cheap. You get so much food. You could take out. You could sit down. It's more of a cultural thing than anybody that's a native there. 
you know. Uh, okay. but, <laughs> yeah. And what place is that? Is that Sylvia's? No, Syl Sylvia's is a is a nice spot in is, Harlem. In Harlem, you know, okay. But I was given, uh, I was given like like that was something for like for my poor folks. You know, I, I, oh. <laughs> when I shouted out the buffet. <laughs> oh, of course. no, no. What's in, what's the name of that buffet in the Bronx? It's a Chinese buffet in the Bronx. I don't okay. even know. It's a Chinese buffet. <laughs> Everybody loves it. It's like the only. It's the only Oyuki buffet in the Bronx. It's like some cheap shit, but. Everybody's ever been there. Everybody loves okay. it. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, Billy. I, no, I love New York City. Nice. I love the food. Oh man, I can't wait to go back. Um, so, Belly, who's last question for you? Who's uh, who are some mentors that you would love to sit down and you know, dead or alive? And they could be, could be a family, could be um, you know, friends, celebrities, whatever. That you would, who's three people you'd love to sit down and have dinner with? Okay, well. People that influenced you. Just because, just because I really, really, really follow this man and I really believe in his mantras, Jason Lee, I'm not going to even say my grandmother because she's passed. And Jason Lee always says, we don't go backwards, we go forwards. So mm -hmm. we let those things go so that we can, you know, be our best selves in the present. And that is what makes him number one, because I, I hold the things that he says so near and dear. Um, Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked. Okay. Number two, uh, I would really, 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 really love to sit down with young Dolph. Um, good God. Because um, that's pretty much what I'm doing. You know, if, if, if nobody... If a major entity does not get involved outside of all these little small contract things that I do here and there, you uh, know, and that's really me kind of being scared because I haven't found what I want. Not because people don't talk to me or send me emails or fly me out to places and then I don't like what I'm hearing, you know, but if 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 things happen financially quicker than that, you yeah. know, um, He's going to be, his jewels, good God, they're going to mean so much because he did all of this just as a, just as a single entity. And I admire that so, 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 so much. Um, and then lastly, it would have to be, uh, it would have to be Lauren Hill mm. because this, this gift that I'm carrying is heavy and I'm always humble, but to be a singer and a rapper and to be a woman, you know, it's just, it gets frustrating. Everybody wants you to have sex. They want you to kiss. They want you to be uh, the dream girl. They want, it's like, what the fuck do you want? You want me to be the all American girl, but then you want me to turn you on at night, but then you want me, you know, and then mm -hmm. some people, they don't even want you to do both. They get mad, you know. So it's just, what do you, what you know? I would love to have those talks with with her because she she's a freaking legend. Yeah, um, I, her spirit is legendary. I would just, mm -hmm. I would love to have, and you know, in so many ways, I relate to her. Being a singer, songwriter, actor, you know, black woman. Yeah, you know, real, real. Yeah cultural black woman, Afro-Latino yeah. woman, you know, would really, really love, would love, love, love to have that interaction with her. And, um, you know, it, it, it may seem far-fetched, but lastly, definitely, definitely, uh, well, I would say two lastly, Nicki Minaj and, and Deborah Waka Flocka's mom, those oh. two. Wow. God, I got to get to Deborah. good Lord. <laughs> no, yeah. you will. You will. I, mean, I just reached out to her this week, so I'm just manifesting. Absolutely, we're, we're, we're pushing. <laughs> well, that's a great list. That's a. I love asking that. You know, to uh, all my guests, and you get some really cool answers. And you know, it's just a you know a list of inspiration. You know, um, but uh, no, you're 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 definitely. You know, I can see you sitting down with all those all those individuals very soon. Uh, Belly, before we go, 
where can we uh, find you? Tell the good people, what, go ahead and plug where they can find you, social media, all your websites, boom, boom, boom. Hey, look, it's your girl, Belly Bando. I'm here with Double A. And you can find me on Instagram at Belly, B-E-L-L-I-E underscore Bando. And you can also find me, Belly Bando, on all platforms. Put me in your Google search in engine. You'll see me on Spotify, YouTube, iHeartRadio, TikTok, Deezer, um, you name it. My music is everywhere. I have several singles from TPE, Hustler of the Year, Type of Gangsta, Fallen, Me Gusta. So, you know, tap in and really, really get uh, the different flavors of my music. If you're feeling sad, if you're feeling sexy, if you need some inspiration and just feeling down, if you just want to trap a little bit, you know, if you, you need a lot of that New York vibe, tap in because I have a song in every genre. <laughs> Absolutely, Belly. Thank you oh. so much. And I'm on Bigo. I'm on Bigo. So y'all send them beans. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Belly, it's been such a pleasure having you here. Let's do this again soon. Uh, this is definitely not the last time, we'll, you know, We'll have a conversation. You're always welcome back here on Profile Pod TV. Once you come on my podcast, you become family. So you are now, you know, a Profile Pod TV alumni. And, you know, I am going to continue to support you any way I can. Follow you, share your content, repost, all that good stuff. So, you know, it's all it's all love, baby, from here on out. And, but, I know, thanks again for coming on. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. having me. And likewise. No, thank you. And like I said, I'm going to continue to follow you and, and, and watch you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is Bally Bando. Go check her out. Go follow her. Go check out her music. Go on YouTube. And like she just said, she's everywhere. So you can't miss her. And do yourself a favor and go cop that soon. <laughs> soon to, uh, the forthcoming album. And when, when is this album dropping? I'm sorry, by the way. You can expect this album in the fall. So just look around October time. Uh, soundtrack of My Broken Heart, Belly Bando with mm. TPE, which is going to be uh, a number one single produced by Jungle Boy Beats. So look out for it, okay? On all streaming platforms, we're almost at 20,000 streams. Let's push that baby, okay? There it is. You heard her, guys. You heard her. Go do it. And uh, so we'll be... We'll be looking out for that album belly so thanks again for being here ladies and gentlemen i want to thank all of you for being here if you're watching on youtube on roku um yeah, ig tv thank you so much on the social Nostra network and don't forget to subscribe to profile pod tv give me a follow uh review um follow me on instagram whatever i, I love the feedback so um we will be back next week with another amazing guest but for belly bando I want to thank everyone for being here. And if you're listening on the audio platforms, thank you so much. Belly, thank you. Thanks again. You've been such an inspiration. I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to see you again, see you in person. I wish you so much success, what you already have. I know you're going to be awesome. And I'm just so glad we had this connection. So we're here. That's right. That's right. Right here. The universe brought us together. And from here on out, it's just nothing but love. So... Thank you so much. And, Thank you. Uh, buenas noches, hombre. Buenas noches, buenas noches. Thank you, everybody. Once again, Double A here signing off for Belly Bando on Profile Pod TV, reminding you to always to take it easy.